Sometimes women expose me to things. Things that are just fantastic. I want you to understand the preface of this. Snake oil salesman. Boy, that escalated quickly. If you remember Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2, the snake oil salesman is a character you help out. But these were in fact real people in the Old West. They used to sell all sorts of tonics and elixirs to help you in any myriad of things. My special tonic will get rid of your rheumatoid arthritis. Got a problem with your dingle dangle? Here, drink some of my spickle spangle. And people would just go, oh, they'd line up, I have to have it. Drink my special formula and money will be attracted to you. Then when this, you know, the shyster was caught to be a liar, they were usually ran out of town or hung. But in this day and age, now the shyster flourishes in ways you can't imagine. I bring you to the greatest discovery I've ever come across on TikTok that was exposed to me. Do you know why your bitch ass is broke? I'll tell you why. Because you don't understand money. You don't understand that money is energy. Hmm. You feel that? That's the sound of you no longer being poor. Because this is going to change your life. Okay, now I gotta find the right video because he's got a lot of these fucking <laughs> things. God damn, where is the money? Is how many money is energy videos has he's done? Okay, okay, let give me a second. I'm just gonna. Okay, I now have the clip. This video was so good, I must have watched it at least five times in a row, and it's a pleasure to watch it again. What do you think money actually is? What's money? See, because Todd? money. Is not One, two, just three, four, this five, six, paper. Seven, eight. In currency. Yay, a thousand. This is not money. So if money is not this paper, what is it? I love how he like prefaces that money isn't the paper. What is it? Well, if we were to go into like an economic standpoint, money is technically not real. And the value of the dollar is only as much as the consumer or the people placing it so on so other crap i didn't go to like school for this but the way he does it is kind of like yoda you remember when yoda was talking to luke about moving rocks or whatever yoda's like the force is around you here there that rock mm. money is an energy it's an energy what is money money is energy that's why your bitch ass been broke your whole life you never had the right energy. You know, I guess Jeff Bezos had the right energy because he fell out of the right vagina, am I right? If you know, like, uh, I've gone through this sort of stuff where you try and figure out how people got rich because you think your stupid ass is going to figure out how to make the next Amazon, am I right? And I was watching Jeff Bezos way back in the day before he got, you know, as rich as he is now. And he was like, to start Amazon, he took out a loan from his parents for $500,000. So already the preface was, here's how Jeff Bezos got rich and you can too. And the first step was have $500,000. <laughs> I immediately turned it the f*** <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to find money for a Wendy's meal, thinking this is going to teach me something. And you need seed money. But don't worry. Money's energy. It rides on a current. It's meant to circulate. Money is simply an energy in your relationship. That's beautiful. Money's an energy and it circulates. If that's true, then money really likes Jeff Bezos and the Fortune 500 because it keeps circulating to that motherfucker and Elon Musk all day. It's like money only knows two people and the rest of us are f***ing. You know, <laughs> you, if money's an energy, right, and there's all these people right now waiting for another stimulus check. If you've been on Twitter, you see these motherfuckers, they're like, they're like zombies. Ugh, stimulus, uh, you know. When is it coming? <laughs> it's like, if money's an energy and you want to attract it to yourself, wouldn't we have gotten a stimulus already? I'm just saying. Keep going, and maybe I need to learn more. What I love is his conviction. He genuinely believes this or he knows how to sell you shit. That energy is gonna determine the amount of money that you attract to you and bring into you. So money goes where it's invited and stays. I sent this shit to Zill text, right? And I'm like, Zill, you're broke because money's an energy. And Zill says this is bullshit because I'm a simp for money and I can't seem to get any. And I thought that was very poignant. Invited and stays where it's welcome. What's your relationship like with money? 
And here's an even more important part. Money is made up of the same energy as you are. You are money. All you want to do is attract more of the same to you. It really is that simple. I love this video. I fucking love this video. <laughs> I love this video. You are money. It's like my favorite thing. I've watched it ever since I've seen it. When he goes, you're the same energy as money and money is energy. It makes no sense. None. Whatsoever. And that's what makes it great. It's like Taoism if it was based around money. Imagine the force if it was money. But then I guess that would explain how Darth Vader could afford to keep fixing the goddamn Death Star every time it exploded. I and mean, that had to be a lot of money. What's sad is there are genuinely people who believe this. That are following this dude and paying attention to the shit he's saying. Because it is snake oil cells. This is geared towards people who need desperately to believe that there's some sort of silver bullet. That something's going to fall out of the sky and save them. And sadly, I'm old enough to know it's bullshit. I've been down this road before. It's no different than the sacred or any other sort of weird self-help where it's like, you can make things come to you with the power of your mind. Bullshit. If it was that simple, everybody would be living their dream. I mean, how many people have obsessed over exes and never got them again? How many people wanted to be huge musicians or race car drivers? Or even a good dentist, and they just couldn't cut the mustard. I need more lessons on money. What does mindset, money, energy, and you? Let's talk about money, energy, and you. Yes. Now it's all related. You are made of- This dude is still throwing on the same thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have a seminar. Someone wrote, change the frequency of energy. How? Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? I'm talking about it in my other videos. My seminar tomorrow night will talk more about it. Yeah. All right. 9999% energy, only 0.0001% matter. Okay, so you are more energy than matter. And when we think thoughts, it's just not cloud bubbles. That is thought energy. You're blowing my mind, Frank. Technically, what he's saying is that your brain works on neurons, and technically, you could download your memories onto a computer in the future. It's something they're working on currently. Because you are technically energy. But like, you know, there go Star Wars figures in the background. There you go. He's like most of his ideas of the force just around money. But money energy doesn't make a shred of fucking sense because money is a, a concept or a construct. It's like a form of trade. It isn't an energy. It's just a bartering tool. Bartering tools aren't energy. If I were to pass you a rock, right now and said, this is money energy, you go, no, you idiot, where's my money? If I were to contact MasterCard and tell them that I would no longer be paying with money, but I would be sending them money energy, they would then take me to money energy court. <laughs> they go, judge, the money's on the way. <laughs> money's energy. It reminds me of a kids in the hall bit. Well, Mr. Villain, I'm from the bank. And you have not made any payments on your submarine. <laughs> I sent you my payments. No, Mr. Villain, what you sent us was a lot of empty pop cans. Pop cans, money, office, submarine! <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Villain, pop cans, pop cans, money, money. Did I mention the imagination is a dying animal? You have no money, do you, Mr. Villain? Money? Money is everywhere! Which means that anything that exists as an idea is an energy, and money is an idea. But it's not like if you don't have enough money, you need more energy. That's not how it works. It's about frequency. Think of it like lines on a page. High frequencies oh, and low God, frequencies. Oh, God, no, the it's about frequency. The frequency. Not the frequency argument. Oh, my God, no wonder this guy's popular. Oh. Okay, listen. Frequency energy is the biggest crock of shit ever. And it's very popular with women and gay men. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead ass right now. I've never had a single male friend come to me and talk about frequencies. But I've seen RuPaul talk about frequencies all day and he gay as hell. It just, I realize that, that, but if you clear the static, you can hear the signal 
and I cleared this, and I thought, the universe said, do more drag. So I said, I will, and I'll turn the <laughs> yes, volume universe. all the way up. Uh, yeah. And other gay dudes, basically on the gay cool is like, you know, you have to turn yourself to your right frequency and the universe will guide you. It's like, what? It, it, like, honest to God, if that were true, I wouldn't be here right now. Like, I hate to toot my own horn, but the talents I have would lead me to far greener pastures if that frequency bullshit was true. Because all I've ever done was follow the wind. It's like, I just feel like this is what I have to do. But just because you feel like you have to do it and you're good at it doesn't mean you're going to get paid for it. That's how life works. My God. Freeze, pig! <sighs> it's mainly chicks in the comments, too. How do I change the frequency? How do I visualize money as an energy in meditation? Thank you for a kind response. Girl, you're going to stay broke. Keep meditating. Sit on your ass in a chair and meditate away. I never thought I'd see the day when I think about a girl doing OnlyFans and say, at least she's taking charge of her life. Oh my God. Energy didn't matter. And when we think thoughts, it's just not cloud bubbles. That is thought energy. Thoughts are things, which means- Wait, what? Thoughts are things? What? It's not tangible. For something to be a thing, it has to be tangible. I'm beginning to take this apart. I see that the problem is there's not enough estrogen in my body. Because women are led by feelings, men are led by logic. Is that anything that exists as an idea is an energy, and money is an idea. But it's not like if you don't have enough money, you need more energy. That's not how it works. It's about frequency. Think of it like lines on a page, high frequencies and low frequencies. It's about the frequency. If your vibration is down low with poverty, that's what you attract. If your vibration is high, that's what you attract. What? What? So if you were, you know what makes a person depressed? Being in poverty. <laughs> Dude, I grew up dirt poor. Dirt poor. Like, literally. I remember once I went to a store. It was like one of those shitty ass kind of bodegas or whatever. To buy Frosted Flakes as a kid. Because I loved cereal as a kid. I don't care about cereal now. I opened my Frosted Flakes. After I bought them with the money. I can't even remember how I got it. I probably stole it to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I was poor. And uh, the flakes had roaches in them. I poured out my Frosted Flakes. Roaches fell out of them all over the table in my bowl of shit. It wasn't a positive day for me. Well it was positive till the roaches. So how the f*** did my positivity attract roaches? Roaches weren't even on my mind. I wasn't thinking about roaches. I was like, ha ha, Tony the Tiger, they're great. And then I open it up, it's like roaches. Ah, what the f***? I'm telling you, this is chick logic. I'm about to do the same thing. I'm about to do seminars and bullshit people for money. This is no different than the Ace family. Doing the same sort of shyster shit. We're going to tell you how you can get rich. You know what? If you really want to get rich, this sort of shit ain't going to be it. Getting information from someone like Jeff Bezos. And when I say getting it from Jeff Bezos under some weird alternate reality where he actually has dinner with you. And Jeff says, this is what you need to do to diversify your income. These are the stocks you need to get. I'm going to hook you up with a broker, JP Morgan, and I'm going to give you $100,000 seed money. This is a big fantasy. Then I'd be sitting there listening to anything he had to say. This is like broke people religion. You don't need more energy. You need to change the frequency of vibration and energy you were living with. This has to be some of the dumbest shit I've seen in my life. I could watch this guy all day. For, but is money evil? Well, what people do for it is, but money itself isn't evil. It's just whatever. I can't. This would be like a 40 minute video of me just going through stuff. And losing my damn mind. Honest to God. And I know making this video, the woman who showed me this dude is going to be fucking pissed. She is going to be pissed because I'm tearing into the retardation of this. Because it's what it is. And she won't listen to me if I said, you know, this is feel good -y bullshit. It's designed to get him more popular by preying on people who need a miracle. That's the whole point. This isn't far off of like those religious sort of dudes who sit there 
and tell people like we need donations so I can have a Learjet to spread the word of God. It's the same thing, just a different rapper. But I'll give him this. He's at least good at being convincing. I mean, I can watch and have a laugh at it because to me, this is comedy. It's comedy gold. <sighs> oh, well. Remember, money's energy.